Welcome to Huts of New Zealand. In this series I will travel to backcountry huts all around New Zealand to record, review and rate my experiences to give you a better idea of what to expect when you go hiking around our beautiful country. Today I'm heading up to Powell Hut, a flash new 32 bunk service hut located in the Lower North Island's Tararua Ranges. Access is easy. From the south end of Masterton, turn off State Highway 2 onto Norfolk Road and continue onto Mount Holdsworth Road after 10 minutes. The road is easy to drive and sealed up until the gravel car park at the end. The car park is very large and there's lots of grassy area around, perfect for picnics and playing sports. There's no cell phone reception here, but you'll find a public phone on the outside wall of the caretaker's cottage. There's a shelter here with toilets and seating, as well as signs with lots of information about the native birds, insects and plant species within the forest park, and the conservation efforts to help protect them. There's also information about the forest park, tracks and potential dangers and warnings, so make sure you read and understand them before setting off. Also remember to lock your vehicle and don't leave any valuables behind. The trek to Powell Hut is about 8km long with a huge 1,200 metres of climb. It takes the average person about 4 hours, although I did it in less than 3. Starting out on a gravel driveway, you'll pass by the 28 bunk Holdsworth Lodge which is bookable on the dock website. Built in 1967, the lodge has recently been extended and is very popular with large groups of people such as school camps. From here you'll cross the bridge over the beautiful Atifakadu stream and then continue along the wide and flat track through the awesome Podocarp and beach forest filled with bird life. After 10 minutes you'll turn left at the track junction and begin the climb up the steep gentle Annie track which is also wide and well formed but comes with its fair share of steps. The tracks are all in excellent condition with wooden steps, bridges and boardwalks all making them easier to walk. You'll eventually reach Rocky Lookout with great views out over the forest. Just hold on to your hats if it's a windy day. After a bit more climb, the track flattens out and you'll pass a track junction which leads down to the Tortura Flats hut, which I'll get to in another video. A long boardwalk then takes you through the regenerating Kanuka bush of an area known as Pig Flat. Soon after, you'll reach Mountain House Shelter, a great place to stop for lunch with a water tank, a long drop and a very interesting history you can read about on the sign. Over a hundred years ago, the original mountain house had 40 bunks and was an extremely popular destination for lovers of the outdoors. Due to constant damage from bad weather, it was replaced with the second hut in 1952, and by 2003 this 8 bunk hut had seen better days and it was replaced by the current simple day shelter. Make sure you take a good long break here because you'll need it to prepare for the last push to the hut. Over the final 2 kilometers, the track brutally climbs almost 500 meters with steps, rocks, tree roots and more steps before emerging above the tree line onto the exposed ridge top which can also get extremely windy. And then, after one last push, you'll be able to take shelter from the wind and admire the incredible views as you finally arrive at Powell Hut. The first Powell Hut had 12 bunks and was named after Ian Powell, a founding member of the Hut Valley Tramping Club who built it in 1939. In 1981 it was demolished and the New Zealand Forestry Service built the second Powell Hut which had 24 bunks and a Lockwood design. In 1999 it unfortunately burnt down, likely from embers in the stove when the hut was empty. The Department of Conservation got to work and opened the third Powell Hut with 32 bunks in 2000. After only 18 years as the most popular hut in the Tararuas, Doc deemed it not up to scratch and decided to remove it. And finally, in 2019, the fourth Powell Hut was opened. Designed by Pinenberg and Collins Architects, it was built upon the same piles as the third hut and can withstand harsh alpine conditions and winds up to 260 k's per hour. The brand new hut has 32 bunk beds spread between four rooms for added privacy and they all have hooks and storage shelves for gear. A central hallway connects them to the large kitchen and dining area at the northern end where big double glazed windows capture as much sunlight as possible and provide incredible views over the Wairarapa region. There's heaps of room here with three large tables with chairs, plenty of bench space, six gas cookers, two kitchen sinks, a drying rack and a wood stove in the centre. There's also candle holders around the walls but you won't need candlelight because the hut has the luxury of electric lights powered by a solar panel outside. The hut also has cell phone reception. There's two entrances, one with seats, coat hooks and a metal grate to wipe your shoes and the other has another sink with some boxes for firewood. 
Outside there's a huge partially covered deck with seating, a woodshed with tools, two long drop toilets, don't forget your toilet paper, a helipad, and yet another sink beside two huge roof filled water tanks. It's advised you boil or filter the water before use. After arriving at the hut and having a good look around, I prepared my backcountry cuisine and sat down for dinner with some of my fellow trampers. Meeting new people at backcountry huts is one of the best parts of tramping around New Zealand. And as the sun went down, we shared stories and played cards until it was time for bed. Remember to have good hut etiquette and be quiet and considerate of others. And as always, it pays to bring earplugs just in case of snoring. In the morning we were treated to the beautiful orange glow of the sun as it rose beneath the clouds. I sat on the deck with a morning coffee and enjoyed the view before heading back inside to escape the wind and pack up my gear. Remember to sign into the hut logbook and clean up after yourself, leaving the hut nice and tidy for the next hut users to enjoy. And before long I was off again, headed higher along the ridge and straight into a howling westerly with thick clouds and almost zero visibility. The Tararua Ranges are notorious for extreme wind and rain, with dangerous and unpredictable conditions on average 200 days a year. Some routes along the mountaintops should only be attempted by the most experienced trampers. Even so, many lives have been lost since the early 1900s, so it pays to know your limits and come prepared with extra gear like warm clothes, a GPS system and a personal locator beacon. I recommend checking out the Mountain Safety website to learn more about how to safely plan and prepare for your adventures. I carefully made my way 250 metres up to the top of Mount Holdsworth. With an elevation of 1,470 metres, it's one of the highest peaks in the ranges and has incredible panoramic views over much of the lower North Island, sometimes. From here I continued north along the treacherous tops towards Jumbo Hut on what's known as the Holdsworth Jumbo Circuit. This loop track is very popular and can be done in 3 days, 2 days or even 1 day if you're keen enough. Overall, Powell Hut is just an awesome tramping destination. With its close proximity to Wellington, well-maintained tracks and spectacular views, there's no wonder why it's the most popular hut in the Tararuas. It's incredibly modern, well-designed and built to the highest spec, with comfort and safety in mind. Each room even has a fire exit, smoke detectors, fire alarms and ventilation. It's clear the fourth Powell Hut has been built to last and of course, I'll rate it 5 stars. After a challenging but rewarding hike, it's everything you could ever want in a hut, and so much more. Bookings are required at all times of the year, and beds sell out fast, so I recommend planning at least a month in advance. Check out the doc website in the description below for all the information on availability, prices, and how to pay. A hut warden may also be present at any time, so have those bookings ready. But most importantly, enjoy your stay, you're bound to have an incredible time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of the Huts of New Zealand.